I'm Dan with StarReviews.com and today we're going to review the as seen on TV product, the Showtime Petite Rotisserie from Ron Popeil. Now Ron Popeil has been in the uh, infomercial game for as long as I can remember and this is one of his latest products. It's going to help you cook quick healthy meals in about 15 minutes. So we're going to put it to the test today. We're going to cook some burgers as well as some chicken and I want to show you what you get with the kit. You're going to get the actual unit itself which is this unit here. It's nice and small. It's not going to take up too much space on your counter. Um, inside the unit right now we have our drip pan that comes with it. Now that's designed to catch all the fat that's going to be dripping off the food as it's cooking. You get the basket, the turning rod, and even this little tool that's going to allow you to reach in while the unit is hot and handle the basket to take your food out and also put your food in. So we're going to go ahead and put this Ron Ronco Showtime Petite Rotisserie to the test today and see if it performs exactly like they say it's going to perform on the infomercial. So stay tuned and watch our tests. For our first test of the Ronco Showtime Petite Rotisserie, we're going to cook these hamburgers. Now one thing uh, to, to mention, this is the size of the basket and this is the size of our preformed burgers. So obviously I'm going to have to do a little bit of work to form the burgers again to actually fit them in the basket. Now this Petite Rotisserie in its defense is not designed to be a family cooking uh, thing. It's designed to cook small portions so it's perfect for a college student or if you're living alone and you just want to cook a quick meal for yourself, you know, it's going to be perfect for you. Now this is easy. His, ba his main focus is set it and forget it. The uh, device runs on one temperature and in here in the uh, included um, instruction guide it has a couple recipes and also has this estimated time and temperature chart. So for these hamburgers, two hamburgers, a quarter pound each, to get them to go uh, to about medium or an internal temperature of 145, it's going to take about 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and reform these patties. I'm going to throw in the machine for 15 minutes. We'll be back to show you how they turned out. So stay tuned. Okay, so just to show you, we've uh, actually reshaped our patties to fit them into the uh, Petite Rotisserie's cooking cage here. Now once you do that, you just place them in and then it's very easy to just put the, uh, put the lid on and you can then uh, adjust the height of your lid. So obviously if you're cooking something that's very thin, you can put the lid all the way down. Uh, we've now slid the rod, the cooking rod through. Let's grab our utensil and we'll show you how to actually put this inside. So let me just put the lid. The lid conveniently slides underneath the machine to get it out of your way when you're working. So let me go ahead and pick up our burgers. And now when you get it into the machine, you have to slide, it's on my right side, it into the uh, slot that's going to turn it. And then I'll turn this so you guys can see. Once it's set up in there, um, you're able to, you know, get it in where it needs to be placed. It's very easy to follow in the instruction manual. Now I'm going to turn it towards me so I can go ahead and uh, set it and then forget it as they say in the infomercial. So I'm going to go ahead and go to 15 minutes, turn this thing on. We are now cooking burgers and in 15 minutes we're going to be back and show you how they turned out. You can see the burgers are just, uh, you know, rotating around while cooking in there. The drip pan is in place and uh, we'll be back in 15 minutes to share with you our results. Stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see, we're in the middle of cooking our burgers and we have a problem where the heating element in the back seems to be, be, seems to be bent down just enough to be stopping our cage. So you can either, uh, right now we're just using that, that rod and just, if you push the heating element slightly, it gets out of the way enough to uh, continue to spin the burgers to cook evenly on both sides. Right there it hung up a little bit um, and then it passed through and now it's going to be hanging up again. Um, we are going to have to cook our burgers here and before we cook our chicken, see if we can maybe do some with that heating, heating element to push it out of the way to allow the cage to rotate properly to continue cooking. So stay tuned, we'll come back with our results. Okay, so we seem to fix a little heating element problem. I just pushed up on it with a little uh, tool here and it got caught up a little bit but it was able to uh, continue rotating our cooking basket. I'm going to go ahead and just put this cutting board down, give me a place to uh, Put the basket down on once I get it out. So now we have the basket. It's done. It's cooked. Now be careful. It's going to be a little bit hot. We let it cool off in the machine so it's actually just a little bit warm. Uh, getting it out. Make sure it's not too hot to touch. It isn't. So now that you take the cage, wipe off my hand, 
let's uh, serve up some of these burgers. Go ahead and grab one out here. Um, grab the other one. Now we have this set to 15 minutes, which is rated to be about medium. So I'm going to cut into a burger um, and see how it actually turned out. I got to be honest, it is perfectly medium. Let me go ahead and uh, turn it over to show it to you here. Perfectly medium. The tray on the bottom did a great job of catching all the uh, runoff of the fat while it was cooking. This was about 80-20 meat, so we had about 20% fat, so we knew it would cook off. The uh, drip pan did a great job of catching all that, and uh, I'd say it cooked it pretty well. So for that part of the test, although we had a slight hookup, uh, a hiccup with the heating element catching on to the cage, it worked pretty well and it ended up cooking our burgers to a perfect medium. Okay, we're going to give everything a quick wipe down and then uh, going to go ahead and cook up our chicken, come back, wrap everything up. But I first wanted to show you um, everything that this little drip pan caught. It's going to be kind of hard for me to show you because there is some grease in it. But uh, if I turn it a little bit so you can see, it caught a good amount of grease off of the burgers, which actually had a great taste. Um, you know, there was a little juice run, run out of them, uh, which makes it kind of a healthier alternative. But it did have a great taste to it, and uh, we're going to go ahead and move on and cook our chicken and uh, see how the chicken turns out. So stay tuned for our results. Okay, so we just got done. We took our chicken out, and uh, surprisingly, we have some really thick chicken breast here. But uh, let me go ahead and just cut this piece here and show you. Uh, in 20 minutes, set it and forget it, it is 100% perfectly cooked. It looks extremely juicy. And I'm actually impressed with some pretty thick chicken breast, 20 minutes in the machine. That's a pretty quick turnaround time for some chicken breast. Overall, we like the unit. A couple of pros about the unit. It is small, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Number two, it is definitely set it and forget it. It's extremely easy to use. Um, number three, it's a complete kit. Everything's included, including the drip pan, which is nice to kind of keep the mess down when you're cooking. Uh, another pro about the product, it has a wide variety of foods that it can cook. We cook chicken and hamburgers, it can also do steaks, uh, hot dogs, sausages, even vegetables. If you want to season up your food, no problem. And it's going to work perfectly for you. It works on one temperature, so the only thing you really have to write down is, uh, included in the manual, it gives you some suggestions as far as the cooking times, but when you want to nail it down, perfect. 20 minutes, all their suggestions were perfect. It is a perfectly cooked burger, and the chicken came out extremely well. The only con that we have about the product is we had that slight issue with our heating coil touching our basket while it was spinning. Perhaps it was a defective unit, but we just pushed on it a little bit after it cooled off and we were able to get the basket to start spinning again. So, you know, overall we're going to have to give the product a 5 out of 6 star rating. It's a pretty solid product and uh, after a slight little kink in our heating coil, we got the product to work extremely well and it did perform exactly like they say it performs on the infomercial. Overall, the Ronco Showtime Petite Rotisserie is a great product.